Hello beautiful soul, my name is Lucy and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Purely Being. Today I'm going to talk about a powerful reframe that's just going to help you move forward and feel lighter and more free in the present moment, the only moment here and now. And that tip is basically to no longer use the past as a guide to the present. I think so often we cut ourselves off at the knees by thinking it never worked before or I've always been this way, why would I change? Not realizing that we have a lot more agency, license, and ability to set new courses, to make new decisions in the present moment. But when you're weighing yourself down or throwing the past in front of you as an obstacle, it's just much harder. You lose a lot of energy by carrying the past around. So I've broken it down into three steps. You could use any of these individually or as a kind of process in the moment. And the first step is to affirm that this is a new moment. It's basically to recognize that you are using the past as a guide to the present, it's thinking, well, I started that workout regime two years ago and I only lasted a week. Like, why should I bother starting now? Because I quit, I'm a quitter. You know, like that's putting the past in front of you like a big boulder that now you have to climb over. So no, no, no. You affirm, you acknowledge that this is a new moment. I am new in this moment and anything could happen. Like old rules don't apply, old ideas are irrelevant. I am new in my now. Okay, and the second tip step of this process is to actually give yourself a new past. Neville Goddard calls this revision. As a disclaimer, it's not like you're gonna go around telling people that you've been a bodybuilder your whole life or championship <laughs> runner, an Olympic medalist or anything like that. You know, because in the moment you might think about working out and your mind immediately goes to every memory of your past relationship with working out and you just feel heavy or discouraged. So you're basically creating a new mind map and a new relationship with the concept. A prompt I would use is the words like, I've always, you could say, I've always been really good at working out. So you could even like create like a soft sense impression of like, yeah, I worked out every day for the last year straight. So why wouldn't I just continue today? And you just kind of like put a period at the end of that sentence and move forward, kind of pivot into that new energy. I encourage you to try it right now and just notice how you feel lighter in the moment. Just creating that new past almost allows you to have a more easier time of creating a new present and certainly a new future. A couple of weeks ago, I was feeling kind of demotivated about just creating, producing. I was thinking, oh, no one's really commenting. Like, are people even interested? I caught myself thinking like, why create more? I said, no, 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 no. And I imagined myself like, oh, I've always gotten like hundreds of comments on like videos, meditations, things like that. And I immediately just felt lighter with this like new imaginary, delusional memory. Felt good. <laughs> and what was kind of crazy is um, the platform I do my meditations through, the comment section had not been working. It had been offline for me. So I couldn't see any comments people were putting on meditations. But that day, it started working. And so I literally had thousands of comments to go through and approve. And they were all so loving and so positive, just like I imagined. I didn't even get to the bottom of the list. So I actually kind of had an instant manifestation from this even though it was kind of like a fake <laughs> a fake memory um, but it definitely just made me feel lighter inside yeah have fun with this one i have a whole master class on it in my course manifest you and you can use it to like rewrite painful memories that are maybe limiting you in your present but also give yourself that new past like oh i've always had an easy time like maintaining a healthy weight that's just like who i am period move forward <laughs> next okay and the final technique step idea, so we're not using the past as a guide to the present, instead to use your vision as a guide to the present. And basically the idea of this is, I see it almost like a treasure map, and there's like, say, the vision for your ideal body, career, state of being, whatever. And I see myself, I see there's like a lit up path, and I'm on the path. So that's kind of how I say it to myself, like, I'm on the path. Like I'm moving towards my vision because we can lose a lot of energy by thinking that we're doing something wrong or we're off the path or we're so far away from it. Like why bother that? <laughs> that's such a terrible um, mentality. I'm a visual person. So I even visualize it like my dream is like a national 
park and I'm in the park of it. So I might not have arrived at say the final destination that's this big waterfall with a pool and a rainbow coming out of it. But like there's still birds and rivers I could swim in, rocks I could sit on, trees I can hug, you know, like I'm on the path. And that's exactly how I phrase it. I'm on the path, I'm on track and I'm letting my vision inspire my now and feeling like I'm already a part of it, in it, on it, rather than apart from it. And that gives me energy as well. All three of these techniques really are to give you the energy to do, be, and take steps towards whatever it is you want. Now the final kind of bonus key step, it's almost like a prequel, a precursor step is just meditation in general. Having some kind of meditation practice because that teaches you awareness, the ability to see thoughts and to see when you're using the past as a guide to the present. So you'll be able to see when all of a sudden you're having a memory of your failure or something, some criticism that someone said to you or past experiences and using that to kind of weigh down your present moment. Once you're aware, you have the opportunity to make a choice and then you can go through these steps. I'll summarize them for you once more. Affirm that this is a new moment, that you are new in this moment. Number two, after you've affirmed this is a new moment, you can give yourself a new past and see this as like a very playful exercise. It's between you and you, right? Like this, you're allowed to step outside of reality. You obviously don't go too far outside of your range where you just feel like it's ridiculous. Ideally, you just want to like create an alternate past that just makes you feel lighter, you know, like you have a fresh start or that you already have some positive momentum going. And then finally, to use your vision as a guide to your present instead. Let it inspire you and feel like you're already a part of it on the lit path of it, doing so well. Like pat yourself on the back, give yourself an A plus and be like, I'm doing great. Like, let's keep this good thing going. Like I'm, I'm on my way. Give yourself some new, real concrete evidence that you can show up for yourself, trust yourself, do amazing things, surprise yourself, etc. I have tons of free meditations all around this idea because I'm really passionate about it. I'll link kind of the main ones below. And yeah, go crazy, my friends. Have fun with it. Also, if you want to go deeper, I have a whole course called Manifest You that's basically about manifesting the ideal version of you, your higher self, like who you've always wanted to be, which who I personally believe is who you truly are already. And it's more about just like letting it out. For November, all my courses are 30% off. So I'll put the code down there, the links to the courses. I have one all about sitting in silence too, which obviously you don't need to do a course to do. You can um, just set a timer, <laughs> watch your thoughts, get good at recognizing when you're shooting yourself in the foot and stop, <laughs> do something different, um, do a cartwheel and really just be good to yourself. You deserve it. And you can be new, you are new, and you have the capability to create amazing things. I hope you have the best day ever, and I will see you in another video. Mm -hmm.